welcome back to another episode of We Rebuilds. Today, what we got planned for today, we're gonna be washing the 2018 Audi A5. See if we can wash it off, get some of the, the dirt and the grease and all of that out of it. And then we're gonna vacuum it out and see all the good parts and all the bad parts and stuff like that. Um, we probably put one of these batteries on the charger. See if we could wake up these batteries and then put it, plug it on and see if what else we could have done today. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your, po your post notifications on. Don't forget, check us out on all social media links. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down. Hey, but anyways, put all your comments down in the description below. Hey, and let's run it up. Let's hop straight into this video. I'm gonna wash the ends, wash the engine bay out, wash it off a little bit. But first, let me soak up the, the whole rest of the car, get that out of the way, and then we come back here. All right, so we just got done washing the car. So tomorrow, we're gonna do the inside and clean up some of the insides. Yeah, so some of the parts that I see that I'll need, this piece, this piece, this piece, a um, couple other small pieces, uh, a clip that's behind here. So we have a whole bunch of pieces that I'm gonna, I definitely need this piece in the other car as well so i got a whole bunch of pieces that i need to, to take so i'm gonna get with that though yes yeah, so there's a whole bunch of things that's in the back of this car that we need to clean up Everything is dirty. Have a whole bunch of mild mildew on it. This a piece of the curtain earbag. Look at these mats. It's mildew. Mildew everywhere. So more than likely this had this car sitting down somewhere. More pieces, more broken things. So we're just gonna set some of those stuff aside right for now. What I should do is even get my vacuum out here so I could just vacuum up some of this stuff. 
as I go along while I'm cleaning outside of the car. So I'm gonna go get the vacuum and a trash bag so I can take up some of this trash out of here. All right, so I have the trash bag here with me. See if I could cut this um, gear bag out of the way. Turn the vacuum on so we can clean out some more stuff for all around here and then we're gonna connect up the connect the jump box let it charge for a while and then we see what's going on I know we got to look at all these fuses that we have in the back here because they did disconnect all those fuses or take out all those fuses so I just need to find out what is everything that they did to this car? So that's, it's really dirty back here. So I'm gonna put this light up, clean out some of this stuff. And then after that, then we could connect the jump box to it. If anything, we could probably get this car started tonight, I want to say. I could try it and see if it, it works. Because what they did was, and I can show, show you exactly what they did. So what they did was, you would have the pyro fuse right here. And then this wire would be right down here and the power of fuse would be on. So what they did, they moved this wire and put it right here where basically it's in front of the starter and whatever. So um, so since they took the power of fuse out, basically just running straight from this. So it, then the, the other wire, that's for the power of fuse, that's back here. It's not connected to anything. So, um, I'm gonna see if I can take this battery off. And then we're gonna set it set it in the garage and see if we could just let it charge for a little bit while I clean up some of the car. And this battery probably might be dead too as well because this this battery don't have nothing on it because and the way how this battery looks looks like there's nothing really that we could do with this battery, honestly. So, um, but I'm still gonna set it down in the garage, let it charge for a little bit. 
And probably now is a good time to test that Ford Escape battery. But I doubt it's going to have the same amount of cranking amps to basically start this car. Because I think you have to have a certain amount of cranking amps anyways. So um, I'm going to put it over here and see if we can get, get it to charge for a little bit and then see what happens. Alright, so we did clean up a little bit. I want to say it's not as much as I wanted to. But we did kind of clean up somewhat, you know. We still have a whole bunch of the, the stuff that we got out of the car. We just set it over there. The charger, we end up charging the battery for a little bit. As you can in the interior, what we have now in the interior is we made sure to wipe off the door because the door was really dusty and have a lot of dirt on it. And just to wipe out inside of it. It's not a whole bunch, but it's just something for now. So, what I'm gonna do is in the morning, I'm gonna see what else I could do on it for now. So, what I am gonna do now is that negative terminal on, see what happens. Hold on, I have the key, so we're gonna see. That's the panic button. All right, now I'm not sure if this battery is dead, so I need to figure out that. So I'm not sure if this battery is dead, so let me go get another battery and put in there. All right, so I just got the battery changed. We go try this and see if it works so we're gonna put the terminal on let me give y'all some light so y'all can see what's going on so we're gonna put that terminal on and see what happens So nothing won't do nothing. So I don't know, but now we have power to it. That battery looks like it's doing something. So um, that's gonna probably be it for tonight's episode. We're gonna see on the next episode what we could do to get this key to be working or figure out what's going on. So all right, everybody, that's a wrap for today's episode on Wee Wee Bills. As you can see, we did, this is the next day where I'm actually started to clean out inside of the car. We didn't really clean out the whole entire thing. We just wanted to clean the back a little bit so we could see what's in the back. And we see just random parts and a lot of mildew. So anyways, for the next episode, what we're gonna do is try to see why the car is alarming and nothing is happening and, and the key is not working so but since it's night time i don't want to disturb the neighbors so we're going to just do that tomorrow but anyways like share subscribe drop your comments and toss down below turn your post notification on don't forget to check out us on all social media links hey and just remember stay positive stay motivated and guess what see you next time